Hello to everyone. In this video, we are visiting unfinished obelisk and then after that we are gonna go and see Temple of Philae. And after that we are gonna get into one of those uh, Egyptian boats. Uh, from here you can see the out there. And, uh, it is considered to be the largest obelisk in Egypt. If it is completed, it would be the largest obelisk in Egypt. It is 1,169 tons and it is eight, uh, 48 meters long. Its underside part still attached to the bedrock. And we don't know to what time this obelisk dating back because no hieroglyphic inscriptions left on the body of the obelisk. Uh, by the way, Aswan is considered to be the main source for granite stone, for sand stone and for quartzite. And there are two quarries here in the city of Aswan, one to the south of the city and this one. And the ancient Egyptian kings used to take their supplies from here. For example, the ceiling of the burial chamber of King Cheops' pyramid at Giza consisting of nine slaves of granite stone. Each one is 50 tons were taken from here during the annual flood. All the obelisks which are now scattered everywhere were taken from the city of Aswan. Until now we have three obelisks standing in the ancient Egyptian temples, like one dating back to the time of the Queen Hatshepsut, standing at Karnak Temple. Another one for Moses II standing at Karnak Temples as well. And the, uh, the obelisk of King Ramesses II at Luxor Temple. Also, Kilobatra Needle in England, okay. taken from here. Uh, the obelisk of King Tutmosis III standing in Rome, taken from here. Two obelisks in the United States of America, one standing in Washington, another one in New York. That's... Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And also uh, the obelisk in the Place de la Concorde in Paris, and uh, another one standing in Turkey. How the ancient Egyptians used to cut the obelisk, do you know? Determine the nature of the rock. After they reach it to the suitable kind of stone, they, they start to remove the uneven surface. After that, they outline the obelisk on the bedrock like that. And the second step was to free the two sides of the obelisk, and this was done by forming holes along the line of separation. After that, they inserted inside these holes wooden wedges, especially from sycamore wood and they poured the water in this hole so the water yeah, expanded and making crack, 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 crack and the same thing was done for the underside bars after that two wide embankments leading from here up to the river line and the opposite was carried on the sledges pulled by oxen and after that there is a very large boat it is 80 meters wide nine uh, sorry 80 meters long and nine meters wide taking the obelisk from here to its destination that's how to cut the obelisk uh, i think that you know how to make the obelisk standing yeah. you know yeah, can you explain with the hill of sand yeah. Yeah. yeah, and then two hills of sand. Yeah. Yeah. Two hills of sand. Yeah. And then we have been playing. They, they, yeah. they build a tunnel <laughs> and they push the sand in the tunnel. That's right, and, and it, it starts. And then the cement on the other side is pulling it with a rope at the side. Oh, I'm just showing you. I was there. Maybe as you be put it on the hill though. You can go. You can go to have a look at the obelisk. sky wait for you. Are you in okay. Yes, 
you had to know somebody. That's right, we yeah. I'm not, I'm trying to look at it. You're in the picture. What can I do? Thank you. Thank you. 
yeah, a stick okay. ladder to bring uh, the cloth down to you. Uh, the guy took the money and disappeared. And uh, the one from Upper Egypt uh, was waiting for two weeks. <laughs> and he was getting very angry and went home and told his cousin the whole story. His cousin told him, you are very crazy, very foolish. I am going and fetch uh, the clock back to my uh, house. His cousin took the same train and went to Cairo. Uh, as soon as he got off the train, he went around the station and kept looking at the clock again. And the same guy from Cairo came to him, why you keep looking at uh, the clock, he told him, I'd like to buy it, it's okay, no problem, it's 200 million pounds, okay, no problem. So he told him, wait for me here, and I'm going to fetch, to fetch a step ladder. He told him, no, you are the one who will stay here, and me going to, step, to fetch the step ladder. <laughs> it's uh, very long, and... <laughs> The high dam was constructed during the years 1960-1971. Its construction lasted for 11 years. This guy wants to buy. This guy wants to buy. <laughs> yeah, play it with him. Play. <laughs> okay, guys, come on. No, I don't know how to want to This is bit of one. It's number five. Number five, that'll mean number me. Six, six, how much? Seventy-five. How much? How much? Are we coming back this way? Oh, yeah, they smell pretty. Excuse me, how much? How much? How much? How much? Uh, yeah, don't worry, I'm filming you. Okay, come on on. Ahoy, mate. Help. Give me a hand. You manage what yourself. The, what the bloody hell is wrong with you? You manage yourself. Yeah, he's cinema. Been. 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 Good stuff. Ten. Twenty, fifteen, one.
Have a night show here too? Yes. Oh, the bracelet just don't stand there. I mean, that's you can get in with So, here, the last symbol in your miserable vacation to come. No, that's not a way to say it. Nah. You don't say yeah, that. You can still talk with us. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, uh, also, this temple back to the Greek Roman period. Also, there was a temple here dating back to the New Kingdom time, ancient period. And the temple is like what happened that Komombo Edfo reused the same blocks to construct a new one for goddess Isis. So, this temple dedicated to goddess Isis, her son Horus, and their Father, all signs. So that is the holy triad of the city, sorry, of the island of Philae. Philae means the two beloveds, referring to the legend of <coughs> Isis and Osiris. Where, according to the legend of Isis and Osiris, the heart of Osiris was buried here on the island of Philae, and the goddess Isis ordered to be buried here and a temple to be constructed for her. Uh, during the ancient times, it was called Bilak, which means uh, the jewel, but during 
the Roman time it was called Ba'alak, which means the end, referring to the end of Egypt to the south. Uh, also during the Islamic time it was called Qasr Anas el or the Palace of Anas el There is an Arabic tale here uh, connected to the tale or the legend of Isis and Osiris occurred here on the island of Philae and it's saying that uh, it is said that uh, there is a beautiful daughter called Zahr al Ward. Lotus, close. A beautiful daughter of a grand vizier fell in love with one of the commoners called Anas al Wugud. Anas was not accepted by her father. So uh, her father decided to shut her up here on the island of Philae and told her lover that she had gone away. Anas was not content with the explanation, so he searched the country for her. He searched everywhere until he found her on the island of Philae, but he couldn't cross the river Nile during that time because of the river, the river Nile was full of the crocodiles. So one of the crocodiles allowed him to climb on its back because Anas was known for his kind, tender part and his love for all the creatures. And uh, Dahar al -Ward didn't know that her lover found her and Dahar al -Ward was planning her escape. She, she managed to slip out of the temple and find a boat. And it was fortunate that the crocodile bearing Anas Wudud and the boat bearing Dahar al -Ward, they met through the street. They were reunited like, like the story of the sacred marriage of Hatter and of Horus and the temple of At last, when her father realized that he couldn't go to the Lovers, he allowed the wedding party to take place on the roof of the temple. That's uh, the story much connected with the legend of Isis and Osiris. The temple, as you see, constructed on the same traditional plan of the ancient temples, pylon, double court, second pylon, first hall of columns, second hall of columns, at the end, the holy of the holies. In front of the temple, there were two obelisks standing, but they are now standing in close to Nancy at Dusseret in England. Where? England. And the garden of William Banks. Oh, I see. I know. Do you know where is Dosert? Well, we know where Dosert is. Yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Dosert. Thieves. Bloody thieves. <laughs> give them back. <laughs> Help a lot to you, give them back. And here is a great, a great courtyard which is leading the main to the goddess Isis. And here you can see 30 courts and the capitals are completely different. No two capitals are alike. This capital is different from the other. The, the next so they are completely different and on the other side you can see 16 columns all the six columns which were created the rest of the columns were never and you know that the lake is situated to the south of the old left which was removed by the British in 1898 and uh, when the dam was constructed the, the, the water started to get higher as a result uh, some parts of the island of Lake were covered with the water. So the Aswan Dam was raised another 10 meters in 1929-1934. As a result, only the upper part of the pylon, the columns could be seen during that time. The rest of the monuments were covered with the water. So Egypt asked UNESCO for help and UNESCO reached to a final decision which was to dismantle the whole monuments on the island of Philae and two blocks and each block had a special number to easily reconstruct them again. An Italian company was chosen to carry out the work and they started with the construction of a coffer dam, then the water was burned out. In 1977 they started to dismantle all the monuments and blocks and reconstruct it on the island of Agilica. So that is the island of Agilica and not the original island of Philae. The original island of Philae now under the water of the river. So all these monuments 
removed. Removed mm. from For the original place. Yeah. yeah. Somebody's been chiseling again. Uh, that's uh, Christians. Oh, uh, the Christians, Christians. Again came here. So, in addition to the great temple of goddess Isis, we have uh, a small temple for goddess Hathor as well on the island of Philae. And this temple was constructed by King Ptolemy VI. And also, we have a kiosk, a splendid kiosk for the Roman Emperor Trajan. Helios! 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 and his wife presenting their offerings to the holy triad of the island of Philae, consisting of Isis, Cyrus and, and oh I am Terry <laughs> <laughs> and Horus. So Horus feels damaged you can see a nice building nice building here dating back to the Ptolemy period and this building called Mames. Mames means the son of his mother. Mames or the son of his mother. Uh, the Ptolemies like Queen Hatshepsut <coughs> created lots of stories to prove their right of the country of the throne of the country. So they depicted themselves on the walls of this building in the form of the god Horus being born 
from his mother, goddess Isis, also political propaganda. Like the kingship suit him, shows a legitimate ruler to the country and she depicted herself. Uh, also here, the king presenting his offerings in front of the god Horus and his wife, goddess Hat. And on the other side, goddess Isis. So Isis and Hathor taking the same form. Hathor here and Isis, sorry, and Isis on the other side. But look on the top, the, on the top of the sun desk, you can see the throne. That's the emblem of the goddess Isis. But Hathor has a small chapel. Look over there, you can see a small chapel, and inside which you can see the hat, which means Hathor or the house of the god. That's the house of the Cover the reliefs with a layer of glass. So look over there, you can see the lower part of the walls covered with a layer of glass. They are in order to hide completely the ancient Egyptian reliefs, which are considered to be a sign of death. For, I think, for the first time you can see figure for God Osiris. God of the dead, God of paradise, and also God of vegetation. vegetation. So here God Osiris, his body looks like a monkey with two legs bandaged together and holding the royal sign. Terry, can you tell me the royal signs here, the names for them? That's taste for Oh, I remember them, yeah. There were four seasons. Three seasons? Three seasons. Three seasons. Three seasons. <laughs> so, the crop, flail, Q5 was signed. Do you know the story of the crop, flail? You know, yeah, I think it's a Kill the mice. Crop tells us that the king cared for his people like Shiver does for his cattle or sheep, and the flail to punish them from the dogs. Of course, with the evil God said, 
and here God uh, Solomon King presenting the emblem of the city of Abydos because the mind or the head of the god Osiris was buried at the city of Abydos and Abydos was considered to be the center of pilgrimage during that time that's why the king here presenting this emblem and on the top register again the king presenting his offerings to Osiris and behind him his wife God is Isis and here you can see God Habi God of the River Nile. Look here, God Habi, God of the River Nile, uh, presenting offerings, of course, including here you can see papyrus, lotus, papyrus, lotus, papyrus, lotus. These are the two sacred plants during the ancient Egyptian times. That's all. Explain this. Scene. I'll get out. I can't even see it. Imagine that you are a tour guide and uh, you have uh, English group and you can explain it to me. No, I'll end it in a white and so that you can... Here is... What is that? What is Red it? crown of Lower Egypt. Ptolemy King and Isis giving him the key of life. The left eye. Long yeah. life to the king during his lifetime. The king, where is his hand? What? I can't see nothing. Uh, uh, okay. uh, what's here? Yeah, what's here? Oh, I see yeah. what's going on. Okay, okay look at his uh, belly dancer. Yeah. Belly dancer. <laughs> <laughs> here she is pregnant with horse. Oh. And Tony King giving him the key of life. No life to the fates. Horus. Uh, it's a British problem. <laughs> So that's We're going to have a group picture sitting on the stoop. Yeah, yeah, Come yeah. on, New York City. New York City. New York City. Oh, came America. all the way. Thank you. That was very nice. England. England. Thanks Thank again. You. Nice welcome, welcome.
That was That's okay, I got another kidney on the other side. Especially a single. 
what would you like to drink? Tea with mint or in the kitchen? Tea, karkade, tea, karkade, that's hibiscus tea. You then okay, tea, tea, cola, sprite, seven up. Hibiscus tea would be nice. Hibiscus tea, hibiscus. Moon coming up. Uh, this video has the night vision, everybody. Hey, yeah, the night here vision, in the it? moonlight. Don't get me pro for it. Oh, okay. So I'd like to touch your head so to smash you. You smash my. I'm keeping away from you till I'm dry. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You've blown it. <laughs> That's so cool with the night vision. Yeah, yeah. It's, um, I'm sure it's beautiful. Correct. Crash! <laughs> oh, it's so romantic. It really is. It really <laughs> well, we're just going to say, did you notice that baby? Big yes. yes. Money, yes. money, six money, month money. Baby? Was it six months? No, was it much I don't, more? I don't give money to kids. I give yeah. them to parents. I gave candy. Well, that's what we were hoping for. And then It's a night vision on this one. Which is a shame, really, because I think all intelligence should be taken to its potential, shouldn't it? That's true, I can't. Is it not? It's individual. You have the opportunity. Yeah, well, you've got the opportunity. It's up to you if you use it.